Hello and welcome to yet another daily roundup. I am Davey in real life and today is an NXT Stand and Deliver special. Uh, yeah, decided that today was the day that we were going to talk about the latest NXT uh, pay-per-view, which is coming to us on the 2nd of April, which is just before WrestleMania. I don't think there's a lot of talk about this pay-per-view, to be honest. But uh, certainly it does look like an absolutely stacked card. So yeah, we're going to deep dive into that in this episode. Plus, there's going to be the usual movie to watch before you die. And obviously we'll finish off with that Brett the Hitman heart joke. But we're going to talk about Stand and Deliver. <coughs> and the first one of the first matches on the card, which is Carmelo Hayes defending his North American title against Santos Escobar, Grayson Waller, Cameron Grimes, and yet to be decided, A-Kid or Roderick Strong. This is in a North American ladder match. Uh, yeah, should be full of high spots. Quite a lot of uh, talented wrestlers in there. I mean, Carmelo Reyes is legit proving to be a, a, a very good champion. Uh, for me, personally, I think he retains, but I would have an argument for like somebody like Santos Escobar, who's doing absolute great stuff with uh, with uh, Del Fantasma. Uh, but yeah, obviously, done like obviously Cameron Grimes to the moon, baby. Uh, yeah, I, I think that this is going to be a Carmelo Hayes retain. Uh, I will say, for now, those who are play, pay, playing the predictions game, please bang in your predictions for this pay-per-view. They are going to count. Uh, it's going to be a bumper weekend. Obviously, we're missing this weekend coming. The following weekend is going to be absolutely huge for predictions and it's going to really help those who are playing in the semi-finals of the tournament as well, because we're starting the month of April absolutely massive with that double, triple prediction weekend. Because so we're not only predicting NXT, we're predicting the WrestleMania night one and night two, and the Premier League games that weekend. So yeah, it's gonna be mega points available for those who are playing the predictions game for sure, to make up for the, the obviously the lack of the game this week. Uh, the next match on the card we're going to talk about is Champa versus Tony Delangelo. Hey, forget about it. Hey, little pizzeria. That is my naff New York accent. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got, you've got to pick Champa all day long in this fight, to be quite honest with you. Champa is the goat of NXT. Uh, so shocked that he hasn't made that transfer over to the main roster yet, but, but still. I think this will be a pretty decent match. I'm expecting Champa to be completely brutal in it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff what could happen. But yeah, I've got Champa all day long. We've got Mandy Rose net up. Uh, originally, at the start of the week, just heard against Cora Jade. But as of Tuesday night, Io Shirai and Kaylee Ray became the... Uh, the Dusty Cup women's uh, winners. And instead of going for the tag titles like they were meant to do, they cashed in to make it a fatal four-way match. They cashed in. So Kaylee Ray, Heo Shirai has now joined that matchup with Cora Jade and Mandy Rhodes, a fatal four-way for the female title. Uh, a lot of people will be looking at this as three-on-one. I don't think it will work out that way. There's a lot of uh, moving parts in these kind of matches. Uh, does Mandy Rose retain is the biggest question here. Or who do you put the title on? You know what? I'm going to be cheeky and probably a bit of shock. But I'm going to go with Io Shirai. I'm going to give it to her. Uh, I think she double crosses Kaylee Ray in the end and that starts their feud. Cora Jade would be lovely to have her as champ, but I still think there's a lot of time for her to, to grow and just need a bit more main event uh, 
quality matches before you just slap the tighter on her. But they could do, they could push. Certainly uh, pull the trigger on her. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. But yeah, I'm going to lean Io Shirai here for this one. Another, like, more than one team. I mean, they're packing this card with lots of teams, aren't they? Uh, this is a triple threat for the uh, NXT Tag Team Champions. It's Imperium versus the Creed Brothers who were the male Dusty Cup winners against MSK. Uh, who do you go for in this one? Do you go for the young, the young tag team, the up-and-comers, the Dusty Cup winners, Creed Brothers? Do you stick the tag titles back on MSK who were doing a fantastic job with them tag titles? Or do you just keep it where they are with the Imperium? Imperium look impressive, they don't seem to waver, a really good tag team. Oh, this could be probably the match of the night. Uh, I'm going to say Imperium retains. I I don't know why I'd say that, but I think that it'll just... I think it's going to go that way. I think we might have that title change in the women's. I don't think we'll go full on with all the title changes, so... Big impairment retains. Then we've got uh, L.A. Knight versus Gunther. Hate saying Gunther because we all know it's Walter. But yeah, uh, I can't see any other victory than to Gunther. So to be honest, he's just such a man mountain and booked to the hilt. Uh, I think L.A. Knight is just going to be fed to him. Uh, so no shocks there. I think Gunther wins. Then we go to the, the main event of that show, uh, Dolph Ziggler, NXT champion versus Braun Breaker. Uh, I was quite shocked that Dolph took the title away from, Bra uh, from uh, Breaker. I think this is just a good way of elevating Braun Breaker back as one legit champion. Uh, you know, he's beaten Champa, then he'll now go on to beat like Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, I think I think we get a new NXT champion come uh, stand and deliver, and it'll be Braun Breaker, who becomes your new NXT champion, two-time NXT champion. So yeah, I'm gonna go for that. So that is my predictions for the card. Uh, we, we, if there's any more matches, we will cover that in over update videos but uh honestly those who are playing the predictions game put your predictions for that in the comment section of this video uh so you can find them it like i say i'll keep you updated on the daily roundups if there's any more matches added but now we go on to a segment we all know and love and it's movies you must watch before you die yeah, and today's movie is Ghostbusters from 1984, even Reitman film starring Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Arnold Ramis, uh, Sigourney Reaver, uh, Ernie Hudson and Rick Moranis. What can I say about this movie? But when there's something strange in the neighbourhood, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, obviously that classic song. Uh, yeah, Ghostbusters is just one of them comedy golds from the 80s. Straight out of the blue, it wasn't even meant to be a comedy, but obviously this uh, movie just took off and created a spawn of movies. Obviously, Ghostbusters 2, that female Ghostbusters movie, and obviously that rebirth of it right now with Ghostbusters Afterlife. But yeah, what a great movie this is. It's ghost, paranormal activity, and the three guys, what were university uh, scientists, uh, find themselves ghostbusting for real. It's outrageous comedy. It's got some really good moments in it. And yeah, it's just uh, obviously if you've not seen this, what? <laughs> yeah, you should go and see it. You should go and get it. Uh, I do plan to do watch alongs for these in the near future. I haven't done a movie watch along in quite some time. We need to get back on that after the mania season is over. So maybe we go to Ghostbusters next. Let me know in the comment section below what uh, if that is a good idea or not. 
and obviously we will include all four Ghostbusters movies, yes, even the female one. Why not? Uh, now on to the wrestler's joke, or Bret Hart's joke of the day. Have you ever seen a wrestling match? Of course you haven't. They can't wrestle because they're in boxes. And that's it, that's round up of today's daily roundup. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please a like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, if you're playing predictions games, slap them in the predi uh, predictions in the comment section below. And yeah, let's see what happens at NXT Stand and Deliver. Uh, I've been Dave in real life. You have been awesome. Until tomorrow. Bye for now.